Hello everyone, I want to make a huge shout out to Eternity who found out this fix for UMOD which is working constantly and absolutely perfect without any issues. We've tested on several systems like Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7. It worked everywhere perfectly for us and now it's up to you to show you guys how it's going and here we go. First of all, we just need to start Rocket League. We are going to Options, and we're going to Video, and we are going to set everything on High, except like uh, Motion Blur and what Effects is pretty useless, so... But the main thing we are going to do is the World Detail. We are setting it to Performance, not High Quality, only Performance, because you mod is very instable when running it on high quality because the hook doesn't work then. So set it on performance then the grass will look like uh, some dots on the bottom. Not really nice actually, but okay. We're going to exit the game again, then we open our UMOD folder, going to our D3D9 DLL, going to copy it, moving on to our Rocket League folder which is located in Steam, Steam Apps, come on Rocket League, then we are clicking on Binaries, Win32, then we're just inserting our D3, D9 DLL here. And if you're wondering what these dump files are, uh, these files are going to be created when the game crashed, so I've tried a lot around, <laughs> as you can see. And yeah, then we are going to QMod. We are going to main, add game, and then we select the Rocket League application, which is located as Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Rocket League Binance with Win32. Then just click on the Rocket League application, open it, and it is applied. Then make sure that Global Hook is disabled. Disabled. There's nothing in here, it's definitely disabled. Then we can simply start Rocket League. And there is a new tab open in UMOD. No injection should change now to DX9, as you can see. And now Rocket League should open up. Yeah, here it is. As you can see, the bottom is still with world detail and so on and you can go into options while your mod is running but I recommend not to change any video settings because it could crash the next time you're running Rocket League because your mod can't deal with it if uh, the world detail is not on performance when starting the game. You, you can change it now to high quality that's possible but when you start the game and again it will crash and you will have to set it to performance again. So I recommend to to play the game only with well detail on performance with mods. And then we can simply inject some mods. You can see the mod is working perfectly. You can go into training mode and test around with it. Every mod should work like it was before the autumn update to Rocket League. Right click on Rocket League in the Steam library, going to properties, clicking on start options or launch options and then we are writing no movie, no startup. Clicking OK. There will come a day when you don't want to play with mods. It's pretty simple to do that because you just need to move to your Rocket League folder again. Going to Binaries Win32 where you place the D3D9 DLL and then just rename the DLL to something like modding D3D9 DLL. And then you can simply start a game also with high quality well detailed and other stuff. I hope I could help you. Um, see you in the next video. I'm out.